All of a sudden, one day, you wake up and there's nobody there, and I'm there alone with my two little boys, and I didn't have any idea what I was gonna do. That moment is like, how do you tell your kids that your father's not coming back? How do you tell your babies this? He gave his life for other people that he didn't even know. And I don't think you tell your kids because you just take it for granted sometimes that you're gonna have them forever. And, um, but we're, we're so proud of her. We were so proud of her when she graduated from the academy. It'll never be the same without Natalie. She was just lit up the room when she walked in. You know, your, your heart just stops and you just, I remember standing there saying, no, 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 no. Like you just wanna like erase time and go back for those few minutes to change it. And it becomes that moment where everything around you just kind of just collapses and you can't see anything but this tunnel. I now was living the nightmare that I've always, as a police officer's wife, always prayed I would never have to live. It flashed before my eyes that I had to tell my kids that their dad was never coming home and that the whole forever thing. And I think at 29, at 29, I didn't know what forever meant. You don't just lose your spouse. It's like someone takes your life and scrambles it up and then just throws it at you. Said, okay, now go on. Because everything changed. We raised my grandson. He was six at the time that his dad passed away. And we were able to see my brother for the last time in the room to say our goodbyes, but he was already gone. You know, I kind of faked it for a while, and then the most amazing thing that happened to me was I met another spouse who'd lost her husband about 10 years prior to mine. And I was so stunned that somebody else knew exactly how I was feeling, exactly what I'd been through. The people that we met knew how we felt. I mean, it's different when you meet people from the outside and they tell you, oh, you, you'll go on. You don't go on. You know, it, it, it always stays with you. Just talk about, talk about your officer and your relative, because that's what helps. I want everybody to know him as, to remember him as being a great, amazing hero. At that time, I did not know what I was going to do. And I was um, looking for anything, and then I heard about the Cops Kids Camp. So I took my kids the very first year, so it was only about six weeks after my husband was killed. And that's where we found our hope. This organization is, I think, bigger than any of us can really even put into words. Um, it, it has absolutely helped rebuild our shattered lives. Um, that saying is, it seems so small, but in reality, it's, it's huge. I mean, I went from being, you know, a 29-year-old single mom, completely shattered, completely broken, to somebody that has, I have so much strength, um, and I have so much joy, and I can attribute it to cops.